Lord Flames here, and I'm going to review of another micro movie by Dark Films Production that just released days ago. And it's called Fast Bear the Fallen Child, which is a masterpiece. I love it. 10 out of 10. 100% better than a Finance Freeze Free movie by Neil. And here, what I got to say about the movie that the story is very well made, that it kind of makes sense to the plot. We're focusing on the what's left of the Afton family before the events of Finance of Freddy's Free. Like knowing the Afton family can't continue that long, so you had to end up with Michael Afton and his family because surprising in this universe that Michael Afton has a wife and three kids. Which is very surprising, yeah. And even knowing you forgot one thing, part of the Afton family will hunt them for the rest of their lives. Or twist it in a darker way. Knowing it's mostly Chris Afton, because this all because Fastbird the Fallen Child is mostly like a different version of Fatty's Phase 4, with a little bit of flashbacks and the present timeline, focusing on Michael Afton's story and a little bit to Chris. Where Chris is still pissed off. Where he wants revenge and decided to just not just focus on Michael, but focus on everybody else that he decided to um killed and ruined their lives. Just to put on blame on Michael and his family. Even worse, Chris is being the worst uncle of all time. That he killed Michael Afton's children. Well, two of them because one lived in the ending. That was just messed up for Chris Afton to being the worst uncle of all time. Even my role as William Afton is a little bit short because I'm alright with it because knowing my character died in Fight's Freddy's Free. So in any new movies of Fight's Freddy's, I would just go for cameo appearances. And that's it. The idea of what happened to Mike to William's backstory and even Michael's, and a little bit to Henry, that William has a wife named Clara Afton, and ends up in a very sad, dramatic moment, where I actually cry in that time when I was watching it. Chris Afton is not Afton. He is the son of Henry. Now Clara <sighs> fell in love with Henry in that time, and she gave birth to the kid that's mostly connected to Henry, but she decided to have Chris as part of the Yapton family. And after the bite of 83, uh, Henry um, wants Clara to get, get her out of here to move on to do something even with their kid, but Henry, if it, it's got worse to South, where Clara wants him to leave him to leave her alone, and Henry just go in the mad rage and tell her just rude things, which has made her decide to go to suicide to kill herself. Henry, how could you? Knowing myself as William Upton, you did that to my wife? You will regret that. But yeah, um, even surprising that the strange man during the um, this one scene where Michael uh, was exploring the abandoned house which used to be the Afton family before the fight of 83, that this strange man is casted by Mr. Hugh O'Brien X himself, where I recognize that voice this time because I didn't know it was him in the Finance Phrase Free movie, even knowing he didn't um, get to his own like the Finance Phrase Free movie because I don't know if it's canceled or not. Maybe it is. But anyways, Michael beginning to have these strange flashbacks that are not his because twisted scene of the twisted plot, where it actually shows that that William had the doctors placing parts of Chris Afton to Michael's body. To have two souls in one body. Almost reminds me a little bit to the location where Inner is part of Michael Afton's body with multiple souls in one just messed up. And now with Chris Afton, whoo, that is getting worse and worse than Inner. Knowing Inner just make you look so rotted, but for Chris, just torture your whole life, taking your family away and all that. That's not good. William, what have you got yourself into? Or what have I got myself into? Because I'm William Afton. In another universe, yes. And knowing we get to the final scene of Michael Afton, or should I say Chris Afton, because Michael is no longer there. Because during that scene in the f new Fred Bear's Family Diner location, where he somehow tried to remember memories, like he tried to, f to do something right until some stupid security guards decided to just block, their w block his way. And it just in a rude way. And that's when Chris Afton broke its cage, comes out of the darkness, says, Take all the strings, and takes control of the body. 
and that's where that part where he rips up his face of hearing the screams of Michael Afton in pain of knowing that Chris Afton is slowly killing him or just torturing him because he wanted him to stay alive so he could show him every pain he had to go through and that's when we introduce to Chris Afton Chris Afton is now fully in control of the body and so he went on to a rampage killing everybody around him which Chris Afton in this universe decided to just not be like the type of kid who wants to focus on Michael Afton but instead, he focuses on everybody. And that's when he goes to many parkours and chase scenes and whatnot, and he drives a car. Yeah, Chris Afton, a kid possessing, possessing a body, drives a car. I mean, I know it's taking place like 30 years or something like that. So I guess he kind of learns how to drive. Not like going for like Halloween and Michael Myers, it's like he's been trapped in an asylum for many years, and somehow he learns how to drive. But anyways, uh, we get to the final scene where um, after he killed every officer around him, and um, Officer Stone is mostly the last one standing, and he managed to gun him down, but Michael's wife and his kid just arrived, which bringing a kid there was a mistake, if knowing if something gets worse. But no, it didn't happen like that. But instead, it was Michael trying to control his body as possible to keep Chris and Afton away from his wife, but until um, knowing Michael wants his wife to kill him he can't take this anymore and that's when stones so i'd be the one to kill him so yeah i mean that's how you end the movie which i love it so as i mean knowing michael afton the last part of the afton family dies but knowing the baker's family continues to, to let some of the blood of the afton family which is mostly the kid so it's not like we're going to continue the story again with them so no because we're going to me and chris are going to make a sequel to fast fair the fallen child which is not going to focus on michael or chris or any of those characters from the last movie instead we're going to do something else which you might figure out in your fury soon to one of those canceled movies years ago anyways i love the movie 100 percent awesome better than five trades free that this could have been an actual third installment in Chris Vision, because that our movie was by Neil. So yeah, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more. This is Lord of Flames here, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.